a country, a nation, a continent full of myth, where unbridled stories rage and rave. And this has got a lot of people subservient to it. Let us break it down. Enough of the big grammar. Recently, a man passed away, Junior Pope and others, on a river in the southeast of Nigeria. It is called River Ninja. But now there is a problem. The community do not want to release the body of the deceased. They want millions of naira to be paid to them before the body of the deceased are released. Or they will confiscate the body of the deceased and bury them by the river. Now, there is always this narrative that has been put out there. It's like a culture or tradition, a way of life among those riverine um, inhabitants. When anyone passes away in the waters, it is expected that that person will be buried by the same water. To them, their belief is this. The spirit in the water claimed that life and it belongs to it. Now, there is this talk about an actor called Okafo that rang bell. According to the community, they said, this is our market day. Bell should not be wrong by the water. Well, he did. He rang the bell. But why? How come he survived and others did not survive. Whilst you are pondering on that, let us watch some few clips. This, it might continue tomorrow again because I don't know for some reason, I don't know for some reason, they said the gods of the water are really angry. I don't know why they are so angry. We don't know what transpired in the boat that was crossing them. But for some reason, for some reason, for some reason, the people in charge of the water are angry and that is why they have requested for two cows. So they requested for two cows for, for sacrifice. They've requested for two cows for sacrifice. You know? Um, we don't know. the major challenge now we have to provide these people with two cows and they will have some other things we have to buy you know like you know those things they use for ritual purposes and sacrifices to appease the the spirit god in the river to let us take the dead bodies to their family i just i'm just praying it's going to work because i mean if two cows and a few other things are what we have to provide to take our late dead bodies to their family for them to bury them then so he rang the bell that is what the community said he rang the bell on a day that he should not market day well ah so sad so sad isn't it so sad this 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 is not a joke now let me quickly go through this body will be buried this night by the side of the river niger the father is there right now he has none to say because the money was we raised for is is too small to conduct the traditional sacrifice and bring back Abigail, back to a quiet bomb. I'm too sad. I wish we could raise more. Burying her at the riverbank this night is a shame to me. Now, imagine, imagine, imagine um, culture, tradition being used as a tool to oppress. People had an accident. They had a boat accident and they passed away. The community is putting a burden on the bereaved. There are a lot of things that are wrong in our society. That is why we are where we are. I, I know people are custodian of um, deities. I mean, people who um, worship river goddess and river gods and uh, deities and all of that. Uh, many of them will quickly say, no, it's our culture, it's our tradition. Well, according to definition, culture or tradition is, a, is, is the way of life of group of people agreed way of life and at times it might not even be a general agreement it might just be put on them by few groups of people who wish to put others in servitude imagine ghastly accidents you don't even know if these people feed you don't even know what and what is happening and moreover what kind of data is that that swallows people this way and then requires money to be paid to the priest and priestesses 
What is really going on? Why would you embrace such deity? I need those that are custodian of this deity to explain. Don't tell me it's our way, it's our culture. Break it down and make it easier for us to understand if there is love here. It's very important. Just imagine uh, how the villagers said they went against them. But now if you look at the story and um, compare videos that have been released back and forth, videos that have gone viral on social media, um, some are saying that uh, Okafo, that is the, the T-virus guy, um, whilst he was ringing the bell, um, the, 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 the captain of the boat, they could not see, and that's why they had the crash. Some said, oh, because he rang the bell. But these two things are not connected. They said because he rang the bell, that is why the spirit. You know, these uh, people who are custodian of this so-called deity, they will want to continuously promote that part of their deity. They want to continuously let you know that they, they, you, they should be feared. Oh, do you have to fear them, this and that. This is, this is bad. This is bad. If you go to the West, where a lot of people pray to go to, you will realize that um, they have their own occult practices or their own belief system, but they have um, erased this counterproductive uh, uh, tradition, culture, and myth. They, they have destroyed it because they know these things are counterproductive. These things don't make sense. They don't make sense. Majority will always you know, put their lack of understanding and hang it on spiritual. No, not at all. Look at the river, the third mainland bridge. It was built. It was built. If this was given to an African, then the so-called spirit in the river would be a problem. Now, I'm not saying that these things do not exist. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we are surrounded by unseen forces and spirits without um, human, without body. We, we, we are surrounded by all of this. And I'm not telling you that those that build the, 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 the bridge may be um, they, they consulted and they did what they needed to do. Of course, they also they are also occultic too. There are certain things that they do. There are other things that they don't let you see that they do, but not to this point of wickedness. Someone passed away, and you are saying that the culture, the tradition, the god, of course, the gods request that such person, if sacrifice is not made, they will not release the body. You mean the river swallowed them and expects you by force? To pay the priestess or the priest. If you don't, then they will be buried by the sea. Like, more or less like a disgrace. Like, oh, we are going to bury them in our village. We are going to bury them there. You will not have your body. That's a, that's a wicked culture and tradition. That's a wicked. It's time for us to begin move, move, to move away from this AK practices. So, right now, um, families of the disease, they said they've buried two already because the family of the disease could not raise money. See how bad and hurtful it is. And um, many of them are running around now. And we are talking about millions. They said two cows, this and that. Imagine the amount of money that they are requesting. That if you don't give us, we will not release the body. Now it's time for the government to swing into action so that we can quell and put an end to some of these practices. I'm going to end with this one. In a country somewhere, I think East Africa or somewhere, um, I think it's Kenya or somewhere, there is this village where a man is the so-called priest of the village. But this particular individual, he has infected thousands or hundreds of girls, young women in that village. He himself is HIV positive. He has infected them. And you might be wondering, how is he dating all these girls? No. In that village, there is a culture, there is a practice. Before anybody will marry, as a virgin, if you are 13, 14, 15, the point is this, before the day that you will be getting married or before you decide to this virgin, you must have that contact with this man. This man must have some immoral relationship with you. He must be the first person to do it. And he has given all of them, infected them with HIV in that community. They are dying. Now, look at it. Look at the catch here. Because of the devilish practices and wickedness, apart from the need to, to brainwash people, if you don't accept or agree to this, something will happen to you. You will pass away. You might not be able to have children. Something will happen to you. Why? Because this particular group of people or this man, uh, that the priest of that um, town, village in Kenya, that instituted or came up with this evil disaster practice 
handed over to him by the demons, the deity that he serves. They will, he will consult them or try to send some spiritual attacks to that individual. This is how these people will operate. It's so bad. There are some cultures that we need to take away. These cultures are inhumane, they are wicked, they are evil. I don't know what your thoughts are as regards to this one. May the soul of the disease rest in perfect peace.